How Weight Loss Helped Me Manage Diabetes, Jack's Story. For Jack O'Donnell, shedding nearly 100 pounds helped him take control of his type 2 diabetes. Find out how he did it. When Jack O'Donnell was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 1990, he weighed about 280 pounds, far too much for his 5 foot 10 inch frame. At the time, the diagnosis prompted the Chicago businessman to lose about 100 pounds. The weight loss pretty much got my diabetes under control at that point, he says. But within two years, the weight in his diabetes came back, with a vengeance. I don't think I went higher than my past weight, he says, but my diabetes got worse and worse. By the end of 2011, O'Donnell was on insulin and a taking a pill buffet, as he describes it, for not only diabetes but also high blood pressure and high cholesterol. But on New Year's Day of 2012, O'Donnell's wife handed him a newspaper article about a gym that catered to people with significant weight to lose. The story was just the inspiration he needed. O'Donnell commutes 92 miles each way to and from work every day. The gym, Downsize Fitness, was about 30 minutes into the ride. He thought a stop there would be a great way to break up his routine and help him achieve the weight loss that would allow him to better manage his diabetes and his health. On January 2, 2012, he pulled up to the front door of the gym that would change his life. A struggle and a big payoff through exercise and diet, O'Donnell shed 50 pounds in six months, and he continued to drop weight after that. The more weight he lost, the more his doctor would reduce his diabetes medications. Now down to 180 pounds, he says, my blood sugar is fine, my A1C is fine, my blood pressure is fine. Being at a healthy weight is a very important part of controlling type 2 diabetes, says Linda Seminario, RN, PhD, CDE, director of the University of Pittsburgh Diabetes Institute and a professor at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. If you're overweight, losing just 5% of your body weight can help in your fight to control blood sugar and better manage diabetes, she says, that's because your body is better able to use its own insulin. An important factor, according to Seminario, the weight loss must be permanent. And remember that diabetes is a progressive disease. A lifestyle intervention may work at the start, but eventually over time, people with diabetes may need to add medication and insulin to their management plan, Seminario says. Continue to see your doctor regularly to make sure that your treatment plan is working and to determine if any changes are needed. Weight loss didn't come easy don't think for a minute that O'Donnell's weight loss was easy. Working out at the gym, especially at first, was difficult, he says. He remembers being able to do only two or three push-ups before getting exhausted. But the trainers and the atmosphere at the gym, one in which everyone was struggling together, were very encouraging, he says. And as O'Donnell began to see the benefits of weight loss, he was motivated to continue. I just put my mind to it, he says. I'd done it before, and I knew I could again if I tried. Food had always been a big part of O'Donnell's life, especially his mom's Italian cooking. There was nothing I didn't eat, he says of his old habits. Now he eats a low-carb diet, focusing on protein and vegetables, and he doesn't drink alcohol, eat junk food, or touch sweets. He still gets up at 4.30 every morning to work out. He goes to the gym three days a week, in fact, he belongs to three gyms now, and rides a bike or runs on the other days, all to maintain the weight loss and keep his diabetes under control. How to lose weight with diabetes O'Donnell's advice to others is simple, it's cliché, but you have to take it one day at a time, he says. You're going to stumble and fall, and the key is to go back the next day. Also, he says, do it for you, don't do it for anybody else. Marina Caparo, MPH, RDN, CDE, LD, a spokeswoman for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, recommends keeping a food and exercise diary when you're trying to shed pounds for diabetes management. People who have been successful in losing weight and keeping it off typically track what they're eating and how much they're exercising, she says. Don't think of it as going on and then going off a diet, she adds. Rather, make permanent lifestyle changes so that you'll never revert to your old, unhealthy ways and undo all your hard work after you reach your weight goal. O'Donnell's main goal now is to stay healthy. I think that in many cases, people who are overweight or live an unhealthy lifestyle have an addictive personality, he says. 
I like to think I've channeled my addiction in the right direction now.